The latest figures from the Justice Department say house break-ins are on the rise, going up 14% in the past year. Julie O'Neill is on your side tonight with what you can do to protect your home and your family. Carol and Tanya, burglars are looking for homes that allow them easy access and high reward. The good news, there are things you can do to make a criminal think twice before breaking into your house. I will um, continue going to the firing range to get a better shot. I won't miss the next time. This woman used her brand new gun to fend off burglars who broke into her home. She's safe. She ran off. But Detective J.D. Barnett says we can all learn from what happened. It's about breaking into as many houses as you can, getting as many items as you can, turning into as much cash as you can. Dog started barking and someone was knocking on the front door. Walked over uh, to my front door and looked out the peephole and I didn't know who, I'd never seen this guy before. She did what most of us would do. She kept quiet and didn't open the door to a stranger. They kicked through the glass storm door and kick through the front door. Burglars look for empty houses, so call out when someone knocks. Always answer the door, but you don't have to open it. Detective Barnett has tips on how to make your home uninviting. Trees and shrubs trimmed so no one can hide. Good lighting helps too. What you want is you want this lock to be as good as your front door lock. The goal, if you can't deter them, slow them down with strong locks. But one of the good things that you've got is you've got the fence locked, and that's going to make it uh, more difficult for them to get back here. One out of four times they get in through unlocked doors and windows. Okay, go ahead and get started. Hey, don't forget your name. With two children to protect, Shannon keeps her house locked and sets her alarm. It's on all our windows, it's on all our doors, so I know when it's enabled at night or during the day when we're not home, it definitely gives me peace of mind that my home is safe and my family is safe as well. Burglars spend seven to ten minutes inside a home grabbing cash, even penny jars or targets, jewelry, especially when we make it easy to find in a master bedroom closet, and weapons kept in common places. Don't leave anything out because cameras on countertops and shopping bags you can see through a glass door are just too tempting. One of the bad things about this is that you've got all this glass next to this to this turnkey, this turn latch. And uh that a burglar could break in and just turn the latch and get in. We want to inconvenience the burglars as much as possible. Alert neighbors also inconvenience burglars. Yes, Panama. Where Shannon's family lives, knowing her neighbors okay, means peace of mind. Okay. All of our neighbors really keep an eye out for each other, so that always makes me feel good when I leave to go off to work for the day. Another idea to protect your home and family, a video camera. It can catch a criminal on tape and help the police put him or her behind bars. <laughs> Guys? All right. Thanks a lot, Julie. You know, some good things to think about, especially this time of year when people are going to have Christmas presents yep. and, and other things like that in the and house. And it's getting sure dark enough. really yeah. early at night. Earlier, so yeah. You can't really see. It's so dark outside. So. Yeah, it really is. You know, by 520, 530.